Hi there, my name's Josh. Um, I come from Ngāti Kaunguna descent, um, up in the east coast, um, just south of Gisborne in a little town called Nuhaka, if anybody knows that. Um, I myself grew up in a town called Wainui and um, I didn't grow up traditionally Māori in a Māori community but I did manage to get to visit my grandmother every Christmas for, for many, many years and she, she passed on much knowledge around the culture um, but Matariki is something that I discovered through my travels of learning, learning more about my heritage and things. Matariki actually comes from two names, Mata Riki, which means tiny eyes or small pinpoints, or Mata Ariki, which is the eyes of the gods. And so when we're talking about things that provide guidance for us, things that are coming from up in the heavens, these are things that we're talking about when we're talking about them being eyes of our gods. Because in the Māori culture, there's multiple gods such structure, so there's, there's heaps of them heaps of them and so if you go into the lineage there's a whole lot of story about how that was shaped and the relationships of those stars. There's actually whakapapa there so there's genealogy there of how those seven stars came to be and why they provide us with the information that we have. What I learned about Matariki was um, was that it is is pretty much the Māori New Year. It's when the star constellation called Matariki rises in the sky, and depending on the formation of it, the brightness and things, it tells us how our crops are going to fare. And so it tells us if the seasons are going to be warmer or co cooler. And so um, all those things were really useful in traditional times for guiding the way that we actually worked. Um, today I don't do so much crop planting myself, so, um, so it doesn't sort of relate in that aspect. The reason that it lasts a month is, um, it's actually quite simple, and that's because towards the end of May, um, the star constellation Matariki will rise in the, in the sky. As soon as it can be seen, that's marking the beginning of the Māori New Year. It lasts for roughly a month, due to the fact that once it rises, the actual Māori New Year is the next new moon, but the beginning of Matariki starts when that star constellation is seen on that horizon, and, um, and so it can actually vary the amount of time, because if it rises three days before the new moon, then it's three days. <laughs> if it rises a month before, then you get a month. So it's very, very dependent on, um, on when that star is seen and when the new moon is. Uh, Māori worked on lunar cycles, and so a lot of the cultural practices were revolved around those things. But much of the time there was also, it was the time when um, a lot of the food had been harvested, had been stored, and people were starting to have feasts. And, and greeting, greeting the middle of winter and trying to make it as fun as possible because it probably wasn't 400 years ago. Um, and so that's when they would have celebrations and it was also a perfect time when everyone was coming together in their communities to learn from our elders, to experience um, where we were now, where we had come from and also where we were going to move in the future combined and unified with our entire whānau. So Matariki is a great time to really um, relish and cherish those things that have been passed down to us um, through the generations of our forebears, so our grandmothers and grandfathers and our mothers and fathers and even before them, way back. Um, within our family um, we have a family tree which dates back 200 years and it's about it's a great time to sit down and learn about where they came from and what are the things that they have passed down to us. That is really what I see um, Matariki being about. It's about building community, it's about getting back to who we are, um, what we've learnt, what we bring to the world, and taking real pride in ourselves, in our place, in our whānau, 
and our place and our, um, in our community. It's a good time for myself to remind me as sometimes, um, as always, you, you forget to push those things which are Māori and really acknowledge those things which are unique to our culture. Um, things around Te Reo Māori, being able to speak, being able to learn singing in Māori, you know, um, being able to paint or draw or carve or all those things which were traditionally taught that was the perfect time to get those things and still today I think many people pick up those avenues and really do a lot of that creative outlet stuff. There was a quote around Matariki that, um, that I came into contact with quite recently and that was around talking about um, Matariki being the perfect opportunity to seed, to either seed plants for the future or to lay rest of issues from our past and I think that's a perfect description of how we can move within Matariki.